Hi, my name is Story Wilson, and we are looking in the footwell of a 1999 Land Rover Discovery 2. This is the ABS Amigo, version 1 USB. I am the designer and manufacturer of this diagnostic tool, and I'm going to show you today quickly how it works. So this tool is designed to clear and read the ABS fault codes on a Land Rover Discovery 2 vehicle. It is simply plugged into the OBD2 port and it begins communications automatically and it does all of its communication steps automatically. We plug it in and we have some LED signals. We have a red LED for transmit, a blue LED for receive, and the green LED illuminates when the process is complete. And I will demonstrate that right now. Hopefully we'll be able to see it. So we plug it in and the process begins. Red, red, blue, transmit, receive. And when it's complete, you have blean, uh, green blinking LED. That's it. So the ABS fault codes were just cleared and they were stored internally on this device. In order to read these ABS fault codes, we then take it to a Windows PC and plug in a USB port. And I'll show you how that's done next. I've just demonstrated the process of how to clear the ABS fault codes from a Land Rover Discovery 2 vehicle. And hopefully once you clear those faults, you are then able to get your vehicle back up and running and in a situation where you can safely get your vehicle to a Land Rover dealership or a Land Rover technician. Now the ABS Amigo has another trick up its sleeve. Once you've used it under the normal function to clear the ABS fault codes, you can then take the ABS Amigo into a, uh, an environment where you have a Windows PC and you can simply plug it into a USB port on the Windows PC. Now, once you plug it into a Windows USB port, it turns into a USB flash drive. And on this USB flash drive is a text file containing the fault codes that were read from the ABS computer. That's a very simple process. You take a mini B USB cable. So this is, this is a mini USB cable type B. These are very common. You probably have one already at your house. They come with most digital cameras. So all you do is you simply plug it in and when you plug it in it starts the USB enumeration process and the whole thing is complete. No special drivers are needed and no special software is needed. We're going to go ahead and plug it in and you'll see the process and how, it, how, it, how simple it is. Simply plug it in. The LED sequences begin and you can hear that we now the process is completed automatically in the background. And that's it. Now you're able to view the fault codes were pulled from the ABS computer. We are now looking at a Windows desktop environment. I'm going to show you further the steps that you would perform to work with the ABS diagnostic codes that were read from your Land Rover Discovery 2. So we use the ABS Amigo to pull the uh, diagnostic trouble codes and now we're going to view them in the Windows environment. We simply plug in the ABS Amigo to the USB port like this. The process begins, it enumerates, and you'll notice a text file will appear. So we have a flash drive. Flash drive is named ABS Amigo and inside this flash drive there's a text file. And we simply open up this text file and when you open up this text file you'll see that there's uh, that, that the text contained within gives us more information about the fault codes that were on your ABS unit. And we see right here, this first section, we see active faults and logged faults. Now active faults are, as the name implies, faults that are on your ABS controller or your ABS module that are current and active. Whereas logged faults, so this fault that is uh, the ECU ground or reference fault could be bumped into this logged fault section when it's been there for a certain number of vehicle uh, cycles and uh, you'll see faults kind of getting tossed back and forth between active and log depending on how severe the uh, severe the failure is in your ABS unit. You'll also notice if we scroll down that the ABS Amigo box also controls uh, also, excuse me, also logs uh, previous faults. So as you read faults with the ABS Amigo they are bumped down in kind of a, a history so the ABS Amigo will keep a rolling or running history of the fault codes that you've read from your ABS unit. To, and these are basically here, I put these here to make sure that people could 
kind of see the history of the faults being read so you could further diagnose your ABS problems. And that's pretty much how the unit works. So hopefully this answers some of your questions and you can see how it could be useful in an environment where you have an ABS fault and you need to diagnose it and fix it. So please do not hesitate to uh, ask questions, email me, and visit my website. Thank you.